The City of San Diego's Energy and Sustainability Division is part of the Environmental Services Department. It was formed in response to the 2001 energy crisis, and it aims to pursue the city's long-term goal of energy independence. Further, San Diego does this with the use of innovative technologies. Here to chat with me today is Jack Clark. He is the Deputy Director of the City of San Diego's Environmental Services Department's Energy and Sustainability Division. Jack, welcome to the show. Hi, Peggy. Thank you for having me. So, Jack, let's talk about San Diego's energy efficiency policy. What are you guys actually doing right now? Uh, well, again, thank you for having us. Um, you know, in, in late 2015, the City Council passed the Climate Action Plan here for the City of San Diego which included two uh, energy efficiency goals. One was a uh, goal of reducing our energy consumption by, by 15% uh, by 2020, uh, uh, and um, an additional 25% in energy efficiency conservation by 2035. So we're doing a lot of energy efficiency work around the city's municipal uh, buildings and facilities. I know I said they were policies, but they're really actually projects that you're focusing on and making the city move more effectively. So when you work on these, why did the city decide to do this right now? Well, the city of San Diego has a long history of energy conservation, uh, energy efficiency priorities, and distributed solar priorities. So we've been doing this work on and off for, for many years. But um, in, like I said, in, in late 2015, the city passed the Climate Action Plan which is a set of, of policies to reduce energy uh, use in particular, along with reducing uh, transportation and, and other uh, policies, but really as a, as a goal to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. But as we know, we do projects on a day-to-day -day basis. And so energy efficiency projects, you know, we're lucky enough to know that there is also a positive financial return on investment when you're doing these types of projects in municipal facilities. So looking at these, would you say the city of San Diego right now is the leader in implementing these projects that you're looking out into? We are certainly one of the leaders. You know, there are a lot of cities across the country that we work with closely and we share best practices, but in certain regards, we are absolutely a leader in this space, yes. So are there specific projects that you're really proud of right now? Uh, we have a number of projects going on. Look at uh, your face just lit up. So Jack, I, there must be some that you're excited about. I love what I do. I love what I do. One project comes uh, to mind is um, our intelligent street lighting uh, project. Right now, the city has an inventory of 60,000 street lights that we own, operate, and maintain across the city. We're currently retrofitting 14,000 of those street lights to LED fixtures. As part of this project, we're also adding smart sensors, uh, 3,400 smart sensors to a subset of those 14,000 streetlights. So we're actively reducing electricity consumption, utilizing these updated LED fixtures, and then we're deploying smart sensors to these same lighting fixtures that have other capabilities. Um, so we're actually uh, very excited about that. We're proving that you know these retrofits can save the city money, and by the same token, um, by saving that money, we can pay for these sensors and provide our community with, with better, smarter services as a result. It's a quite an exciting project, and we're sharing those best practices across the, the country and internationally, and in that regard, the city of San Diego is a leader. So I guess looking at that, is there specific advice then, because you're doing this, that you would give other cities because you've, you've gone through this, you're doing it, and you'd say, here's what I would tell you to do to maybe avoid any stumbles or any successes that you're experiencing with that? Sure. So the city of San Diego, like many municipalities across the country, are transitioning from how we would typically do project management years ago, where it would be, you know, uh, maybe one offs in different facilities or, or buildings. Planning is really the key. Uh, you know, one of the other exciting projects that we're working on right now is a municipal energy strategy. So we're bringing different departments and different divisions. Uh, uh, to the forefront of our planning activities so that everyone can participate and paint a very clear, comprehensive vision for the city to reach our energy and sustainability goals. Um, so I would say planning is key and understanding that energy savings is really sort of the doorway to a smarter city. And so as we transition into a smarter city, 
we're very much trying to make data-driven decisions. Um, and that, that is exciting. Um, and it is a transition and it would be one of those best practices and lessons learned that I would share with, with other municipalities across the country. So in your opinion, would you say that that is the best advice that you would give, I think, uh, other cities as the biggest challenge or the biz biggest success when you look at sustainability issues when you're looking at this? Because right now it seems like sustainability is really one that you want to look at when you're kind of thinking about big city transitions? I'll, I'll say it this way. Energy and sustainability, if we're not all on the same page at the city, that is a challenge, right? Yeah, that's because a hard one, right? We all have a role there. It's not just deploying smarter technologies, it's really how we utilize those technologies in our day-to-day -day office life. So we need to have everyone on the same page in the city. So communication and education is absolutely fundamental. But in order to maximize that full potential, we have to plan accordingly. So we're taking that challenge in, in a very large city and saying, okay, how do we, how do we, how do we achieve the best practice and, and overcome that challenge? And, by, and, and the way to do that is really through comprehensive planning and using uh, key departments and divisions to be part of that planning process. So that municipal energy strategy is a best practice that will help us address those challenges. But technology changes along the way and mindsets change and politicians change. So there's a lot of things that get thrown in the mix there that you have to think about when you're doing some of these plannings, right? Absolutely, yeah. We, we're currently deploying eight megawatts of solar on different cities, uh, on, on, on the city's different facilities and buildings. And we've been deploying rooftop solar and canopy uh, solar applications on parking lots for the better part of 10 years. And so yes, those technologies change, the financials change, the rate settings change, um, you know, all of these change. So it's important to have a very robust set of policies and initiatives that we can reflect upon because we are working in a very dynamic uh, market. One of the benefits that we have here in San Diego it's a progressive and, and uh, very committed uh, city council and mayor uh, across the political spectrum. You know, we've, we've got everyone buying into these goals. And then from a statewide level, you know, the state of California has been committed to clean energy for decades. So we're working very closely with the state uh, public utilities commission, state energy commission, um, different independent and private businesses it really is a matter of the city showing best practices to our community and also having businesses uh, support the city in those initiatives because we want businesses to look at the city, look at what we're doing, and then deploy these same types of, of practices to their own buildings and their own facilities as well. Well, I'll tell you, Jack, it's really exciting to hear all the things you're doing. I want to thank you for spending time with us because it sounds like the city of San Diego is really pulling it all together. We're having a great time, we're very busy, and thank you for having us, we appreciate it. Thank you, Jack Clark, Deputy Director of the City of San Diego's Environmental Services Department, Energy and Sustainability. And that's someone you should know.